we're here kicking off season 10. Uh, we've grown by leaps and bounds since, since year one. Uh, we have drivers coming from all over the world. We've had the last few seasons of tight championship chases all the way down to the final round. I think Long Beach will always set the tone for what the season has in store. You know, this is our 10th year. It's a, it's a hallmark year. We've made it this far. People didn't think that we could actually make it two or three or even five years. So to come 10 and be the strongest that we've ever been and to start off our season here in Long Beach is absolutely a dream come true. What makes me choose drifting over racing is just the, the series, you know? I mean, I, I do race in Grand Am this year. I've raced in World Challenge while I've done my drift stuff, but I've always put an emphasis on drifting because I, I do think it, it has a big future. My favorite thing about competing in Formula Drift and what keeps me coming back year after year, besides the fact that drifting is amazing, is the fact that it's constantly changing. I love drifting just because drifting is part of my life. No, it's more than that. It's actually part of me. I get to come out and do what I love. I, I get to go and interact with fans. Um, you know, people want my autograph. I'm really fortunate to have this opportunity. There's thousands of people that would love to do what I do. And you know, it's, just, it's pretty humbling to think that I have the opportunity to do it. You know what, there is absolutely no doubt, no argument that Long Beach is the toughest course in the world. As a driver, no matter where you look, no matter where you drift, you're always facing a wall. There's a long straightaway, you're looking down this corridor, which is two lanes wide, and uh, you get up into about third gear, and then you hit the e-brake right up against this wall. So all of a sudden your car grips up and slows down. So you gotta be ready for that now. Uh, then you jump back on the gas, and you run throttle all the way through turn one, transferring into turn two, full throttle the entire time, kicking out to the bridge wall, the old bearded man. Try to pull a grazer, uh, keep it wide uh, on the outside line. The, the whole run, I think, is based under the bridge, which is turn two, and how dynamic you can get that flick in there. And then you're setting yourself up for the hairpin. Keep it under control for the hairpin at 11, and then just stay strong, finish it hard on the throttle. Come April 12th and 13th, it's going down here in Long Beach, and we will really find out who the best drifter in the world is.